I guess you must have been uh, somewhat licking your lips and celebrating that inflation print today. Do you think it'll be good for gold? Yeah, I do. I, I am fundamentally, obviously, bullish on uh, the gold price. I, I did make the comment uh, back in uh, September 19 that I felt at that time we'd established a floor of about 1,500. And today, when I look at what's going on macroeconomically in the world, uh, I certainly see where we are today with buoyancy to higher. Um, whether it's the amount of uh, stimulus, uh, COVID stimulus, the money printing that's gone on, that side of it, or uh, in fact, the early signs of inflation we're starting to see uh, creep, into, creep into the system. That, uh, that to me bodes well for further upside in gold. Certainly a lot of strong macro arguments like that, Paul, for, for gold. Uh, what about when people suggest to you that crypto has taken up some of the oxygen, perhaps, that, that would have uh, been breathed by gold enthusiasts? Is that a fair point, or do, you, or do you disagree with it? I disagree. I think there are two fundamentally different uh, investments. Um, and I, I guess from my side, look, gold is a historical proven store of value. Uh, it, it's very liquid. It's regulated, and it stood the test of time. Um, you know, gold is, in my opinion, it works in a, in a, in a, in a diversified portfolio at both ends of the scale. Uh, when times are tough, you tend to get a negative correlation where people look to gold for safety. And in times of inflation, people look at it as a hard asset, a currency diversification. Um, I think crypto is just probably here to stay. There's probably more regulation to come. There's certainly a lot of volatility. Uh, to me, it's more of a, a technology play than a, what I would call a, a proven test of time uh, store of value. But Paul, both of those things are happening today and gold is down. The Dow is right now down almost 600 points. We're at new session lows. And we just saw the hottest inflation print that we've seen in 13 years. And gold prices are lower. So is it really an inflation hedge and a safe place I think, still to be? Yeah, look, I think it's it's one day's trade. And in, in days like this, you sometimes get but a... gold is down over the last three months when inflation has been the predominant story and the worry for the markets. It's actually, it was, it's, it's, it's actually been coming up in the last few weeks. It, it started at the beginning of the year higher and it dipped. And uh, back a few weeks ago, it was 1,600. And I think with all of this noise around inflation, you've seen it climb up over 1800. Um, and that is a great price for many gold producers. You know, most of us do our costing and our, and our mine planning around 1200. So we're, we're budgeting in the $1,200 mindset. Uh, 1800 means huge cash flow for our sector. Uh, it has come up in the last few weeks, I think because of inflation. And uh, I think that story will continue. On days like today, you do get a bit of a kitchen sink. Everything goes out the door, uh, you know, to cover sales and cover margin. But um, I am fundamentally bullish on here and up from here. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.